Right. That's not right. We, we know. So let's try this again. Down at the bottom right. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a coloring book. You're picking it. You're looking yeah. for it. <clears throat> okay, no, I think it's in this third section. Paul, third section. There we go. Month a year. Month a year. Okay, you're you're right. Starting clockwise. February. The day would be the. We, we, we're thinking the fifth. We're, th we're thinking the sixth. Sixth. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it should be. Now, is it going. It's a four set combination, so it's going to be going 12. So it's going to be going one, two. Or actually go round 12. I don't know if that's what it means, is it? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I must have got something. No, if you go, if you read the thing again, right? Yeah. You'll see. I think what it's trying to say is, right? So we're we're because today I think is is the date we're doing this is the seventh of February, not twenty two. So it's month day year. Four number combination in that order, starting clockwise. So the code is out is two six one two. Okay. Yeah. So you start off by going clockwise to two, then back to six, then to one, and then over to two. So start off with. Go back to zero. Yeah. So go to two. Then go to six counterclockwise. Then clockwise to one. Then counterclockwise to two. That should trigger it. That's not right. That should be it. Unless we got date wrong. Mm. Maybe try five to twelve. Yeah. Or two five twelve rather, whatever it is. Yeah. Actually, no, just reset it there to zero and then we start try to do it properly. You know how these things are. I must be, have made a mistake. So, you have two, then to five, then to one, then over to two. I must have made a mistake. Ah, here. Uh, it doesn't be that hard to find out what fucking day it is. <clears throat> right, let's try to hang on. Go into the diary again. Last actually the diary is from today. Today being the seventh, and yesterday should be the sixth, so it should be two six one two. But the, the year is 1922 as well, so we have that part right, I think. Yeah. So, what's the problem? It should be 2512. Um, could it mean that number of movements as opposed to those numbers? But no, no, it, it's not number of movements because it's saying four number combination. So it's not movement, it's numbers. It's the actual, like, Five two twelve. That's what I can't get. Hmm. So There's two five one two. That should be how it clicks. So unless you have to do something when you're pressing each number, you're starting clockwise. I don't see what the problem is. Yeah. So you don't. Alright, it's not telling you you're wrong. Oh, I pushed it. That was a different button. Okay. That's not right. But that, that message didn't come up when you went to two. So oh. watch. So you go to two, right, and come out of it. 
I must have got something wrong. So, so you have to actually do it in one go. <clears throat> I must have made a mistake. So, two, surely to five, because that's the only time that makes... No, no, it should be six then. Yeah. Because today's the seven, so it should be six and then over to one and two. So what's the fucking problem? And then all the way around to two. That's not right. So you're... <clears throat> you're escape. Are you escaping out of it? Or are you entering into it? That's why I can't... Um... I've been pushing um, enter in space. But it's enter escaping out of it. That's what I can't. I must have made a mistake. Say. I must have made a mistake. Fucking right. Um, I mean, that, 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 that makes sense though. It's like, right? We are doing it the way it should be, do be done. Or are we just being tick here? Like even when it came up, well, I'm like fairly certain today Wait. is the seventh. We're turning the dial counterclockwise. Two. We're starting at two. Yes, that's what it is. We're doing it the wrong way. So we're starting. Two. Clockwise, clockwise to five, or clockwise to six rather. Then go the other way. Okay. Maybe we have been doing that. And then it's one, two. Yeah. Then all the way around. Yeah, that's what it was. Yes. Yeah. That's it. So we were being taken. Ah, oh, yes. Perfect. And it's eight points as well. Handy. <clears throat> Thank you, Paul, for seeing reason. So it wasn't the numbers we got wrong, it was the semantics. Yep. The safe holds a heavily bound manuscript. The front is embossed with the words Book of Dagon. Don't tell me. Sure. Goodbye, yeah, sanity. <laughs> we have two uh, times here, look. Oh, yeah, this is the one we got in the. We still have that? Yeah, apparently so. Oh, boys. It's, just, it's too hot for TV, folks. The book is handwritten and heavily bound. Its cover is embossed with the title The Book of Dagon. It seems to be a religious work translated from a series of ancient tablets. It tells of an entity called Dagon, apparently some kind of sea god and its consort Hydra. They are the greatest of an underwater race called the Deep Ones, who worship them with sacrifices and... something rights. The descriptions of the sacrifices are particularly shocking and there are details of magical spells and other strange rituals. If this incredible manuscript is to be believed, their history stretches back beyond the remotest human origins into unthinkably remote antiquity. A few individuals are so incredibly old that they have seen continents rise and fall, for they did not die of old age as humans do. Father Dagon and Mother Hydra are such individuals, and are greatly revered for their age and size. Their greatest awe, however, is reserved for a dark god named Great Cthulhu, who was said to sleep and dream in the underwater city of Relia. The, ducks, the book seems incomplete. The last chapters tail off as though the translation has not been finished. It's Relay. Is it Relay? Relay. Alright. I will take your... Uh, prefer it. But you know, pronounce it as you really wish. Yeah, I suppose there's no real exact science to it. Now, I get the feeling, now, since we got that book, and it's given us a... Can you stop playing with the birdcage? Mm -hmm. Paul, okay, <laughs> come on, serious. We're getting at the brass tacks here. Um, we we give it a save point and a book. I will to believe the town is gonna come after us, like they did in Shadow of the Comet. It won't budge. That's fair. Because <clears throat> they're gonna like no or something. It's got like some sort of silent, some sort of Cthulian silent alarm has been activated, and shit's about to kick off. Which would explain why we have all these bullets, and they're not doing much. How many bullets do I... A lot. <laughs> but, to put it bluntly. 
no, this is the place where I haven't fired my gun a whole bunch of times. Yes, exactly, because I kept breaking the game. I better start making tracks. I don't much fancy spending the night in this hole. You say that. But where's the bus gone? There's Mr. Bus. Hello, you. Did you hear about Thomas Waits? You best not be asking about that, stranger. I say we go talk to the bus driver. One of these days, this is going to be a playthrough where it's just shoot you, shoot you, shoot you, shoot you, shoot you. Shoot you. <laughs> the God Nuclear playthrough. And you'll probably break the game doing that. Is that him? The, the guy walking around, roaming around. What? Did someone fuck the engine here? No, it was like that all the time. <clears throat> That's not him. Good, he's gone. That's healthy. Where is the bus driver gone? We can't bring, drive him, a bus. bring him back now. I, I would point like to leave. Oh, shit. <coughs> cool. Stuff's happening. Aha. Oh shit. Too human. I got much time to talk to Charlie. I got instructions from the owner to make certain the outside had done rude tonight. Would that be the strange fellow you brought in to insert a couple hours back? Yeah. <laughs> I'm reckoning on him asking for lodging here this evening. <laughs> <laughs> now let's let's confront him. Stop bothering me, stranger. Dick. Do you have board for the night? No. Oh. There's plenty on the top floor of the house. Nice views over the town, I told. I wouldn't know myself. No. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Making meat? That sounds just swell. Right. Hey, uh, you all right there, sir? Starting to look kind of funny there for a while. Face as white as bone and eyes as black as coal. Like you'd seen a ghost or something. <laughs> Tortured metaphors. I'm fine, thanks. It's just the sea air around these parts. It makes me queasy. The Innsmouth's breeze is not for your outsiders. Charlie, can you come with me? I need to be telling you something. How did you... Firstly. Excuse me, sir. Elizabeth Law doesn't like to be kept hanging about. I'll be right back with you shortly. I think that premonition was to give us a key. Uh, that's... That's very animalistic uh, movements. Yep. And we know what that is. Yes, we do. Okay, I snagged that key. It's the key to the back office. Oh, it's please, unlocked. Keep Woohoo! Nothing of interest. Oh, but typewriters are of interest. Shine, I see a shiny thing. Yeah, there's just blood on the floor. It's fine. Mm. Okay, we have enough bullets. And what do we? We have another exciting book to read. Oh. She were a lively one and no mistake. I kept her going as long as I could for the music she was she were making. She had a pair of lungs. And after she were done, I found those lungs on her look as good as they sounded. Maybe I'll keep them. Her liver was particularly sweet as well. I never much wanted to go to New York. Ah, oh, fuck. But if they all talk as much as this one, I reckon I ain't missing much. As soon as he woke and saw the knives, he was away talking and pleading and bargaining for his life. All them words made me dizzy, and I had to take his tongue first to stop him. In future, I better wait a while after they eaten dinner, for his innards stank awful. 
The bones were nearly all out before uh, before he died. I was real careful after the around the arteries, so uh, so as he didn't lose any more blood that could be helped, and he lasted a lot longer for it. The flesh moved on its own as he tried to work his arm, but with the bones gone, there weren't nothing I could do, just twitch. It took it out the strap, and it could so it could move free, and I watched. The new gag worked much better, and he was more quiet than the last. That explains the premonition we were having. I wonder what secrets this book holds. We just read it! That explains to me, Cleaver. The hatchet is encrusted with blood. I'm not touching it. This yeah, meant to be a heart. Could be wrong with that. Right. Um. It's a head in the box. And a head in the box. And hands in the drawer. And hearts and heads. How did I not see this coming in? Right. He was in the back office. You weren't to see the back office. No, when I went in here, I just saw the ammo. I didn't see this. <laughs> it is quite hell of a timing, isn't it? Right.